Hello, gang. This is Artie Dar. Um, coming to you with a kitten caboodle from Rosemary Morris, the Rusty Peacock. I follow her on YouTube and enjoy her challenges. Sometimes I buy the kit, and sometimes I don't. But with this one, I did purchase her kit, and you'll see some of her stuff. She'll recognize it, and you'll see some of my stuff. Um, but it was so much fun. I had to do it. So here it is. These are vintage little leather boots. This is a tiny toy from the 50s uh, Cracker Jacks. Remember when we'd get the Cracker Jacks and get a toy in there? Well, they were a, a lot of fun. And uh, I have a few. <clears throat> did some buttons and a tin star and this is a piece of beautiful birch wood this opens up and bull durham yeah you know what these are right i'm sure the cowgirls back in the day made their own rollies and smoked them just like the men did maybe behind the barn <laughs> well there is a little plastic gun clip art had a lot of clip art from Rosemary, and I used all of it just about. A really cool metal button. Um, sewed that on. Liked it. And then there's a really easy pattern where you take a 12 by 12 and you fold it, and it creates these pockets. That's one piece of 12 by 12. Okay. Tags, stenciling, tags, mm -hmm. she's roped in. This tag, special delivery. This year, 1876, is when Annie Oakley had met her her future husband, her mate. They shot together. They really liked doing the circuit with all these medals for winning sharpshooter. And she was called the Little Sure Shot. Buffalo. This this one little book right here is all about uh, Annie Oakley. Laugh often, love much, and live well. There's another Cracker Jacks toy. Very old, vintage. Some replica Sears catalogs. And then the signatures in here are basically unfinished for journaling. I did start writing some stuff out that I wanted to write in the book. <clears throat> and this uh, was from an antique cabinet card. I traced around it and cut it out. But to me, it kind of does look like the saloon doors. And I might uh, do something different with that instead of a cabinet cord I love this piece of fabric and I just don't know what to do with it yet so it's just hanging in here I love it and then this next book section is all about the rodeos um, they have one in South Jersey in Salem County where they have the Brahma bulls and the horse riding and stuff and I've been to them they're a lot of fun not quite complete. Um, I like to stick stuff down with just a touch of glue in the back. And then that affords me the ability to layer behind it and in front of it. That's usually how I go with uh, layers anyway. Just a touch of glue and then add more. Another <clears throat> 12 by 12 piece of paper that's been folded into pockets. An old homestead. 
Oh, where was this? I forget. My old Kentucky home somewhere a <laughs> hundred years ago then. <clears throat> Tag. The images are great. I like this one too with her just sitting on the ground next to her saddle. Eh, maybe she's smoking a cigarette or getting ready to. I don't know. Maybe she's writing a piece of paper and you used to uh, wet the end of your pencil back in the day. Why? I don't know. To make it write better? <laughs> so yeah, this could probably possibly still be called a work in progress because of all the signatures that are in here that are incomplete. Gambler. I, believe it or not, my husband has a humongous collection of rollies, rolly paper, and I begged him for some of his out of his collection, and he gave them to me. I'm like, yay! Um, they look great in here, David. Thank you. A movie star. I love the horses. Years ago, I worked at a sulky racehorse stable. We took care of them. I was a licensed groom. Sometimes I would drive the trailer with the horses in the back to Freehold, Dover Downs, all the different racetracks. I love those horses. Crazy John, <laughs> Little John. Crazy John ran out of the stall. And would charge any opening he had to go through he would charge and rear up and charge really fast and go through and he ran over my boss and broke her arm and that's why I had to drive the truck uh, but little John the other crazy horse <laughs> he was fun too but I seemed to be the one to be able to handle him get him over there get that twitch put it on their muzzle twitch him up and then the veterinarian could come in and um, give them their worming medicine down the nose. Well, anyway, here's the end of this film. That's enough.